everybody welcome back to my channel this is Tonton Ton here and last time I reviewed a mini action figure it was the number two Voltes V and so today I have uh, the first mini action figures this is the Combatola V Combatola V so I guess they are on the same series I do not quite catch up with this one yet but you get the point so here's the box and here's the same kind of box we have already seen we have the pictures of the robot the five component and have, let's have a spin around we have the logo of the series combat v number one over there mini action and here we have some posing and the names of the, the of the vehicle so i will tell you later about that and have a bunch of japanese down there turn it around again so this is the same and that's it now let's crack this guy open and see what is he got inside we have inside this is the box and we have the five component of the machines some alternate hands the two weapon this is the dual sword i think then we have a connector for head for connecting connecting the two swords together and just so fyi so actually this guy have actually been to american market before and he was named that what was the shogun i don't remember but then at that time it is quite expensive for toys that have die cast part in them and it is not a really a common thing though so it fails so that is just a side information so now let's get to the component of this guy let's begin with the battle jet first is a machine called battle jet this is obviously the robot head and it has nothing too many special thing about it cockpit section is made from clear blue plastic so it is quite nice and from behind you can see some thruster detail on it and if you flip him around you'll see the robot head so that just it let's move on so next one is the called the battle crusher but it came in the box as the robot form so i'm gonna save this for now and try to transform him into the crusher form of him so first off let's open this and bring it down like that it is actually a z connection type then flip out this fin and and split this pull this joint out and so you'll be able to double bend it and you take this two piece over here and just snap down there like that that's the landing gear and that is the barrel crusher so it is still the same old dumb looking kind of jet and it is fun to play with and I enjoy the smaller details and especially the double jointed elbow that would be really some help in the robot mode and the cockpit is still clear and that's just it now let's move on so next one we have is the one called battle tank and it has the same problem with the battle crusher so now let's transform it a little bit bring out this panel so here we have the battle tank and it has transformed let's flip this up this is not really a tank, it is more of a smoke of a dozer to me. It is still fine though. Here's the number three over there. That is like the only details that worth mentioning about this guy. Now let's move on. So next up is the battle marine, and this is really like a submarine thing to looking to me. An underwater machine. And so the only transformation step this thing needs is to flip out this fin section over here like that and flip out this fin section over here and bring this back just like that and it's just, just a plain submarine thing looking for me and that's it that's just it and the final th one is will be the battlecraft and this one is also a stretch you don't really need to do anything much except for remove it and push this up and then snap them together again and it holds by a really weak connection port so it's easy to fall off and that's just it now let's get to some combining I guess first is the battle craft you simply split them out retrieve the gun push it back and that is it now to the marine you just undo everything that i have just done 
just like that and split it out and then you can connect it onto the buttercraft as the feet I just push it really hard over there so like this is not that hard but then because this is a delicate figure so just be careful you know then we have done two of our five and then we take the battle tank and push this down this down as well and you want to split out the you want to bring back the rail, the trench, and you can connect it directly into the marine. Like I said, this is really delicate, so just be careful. Okay, now we got to the battle crusher. Bring in, oh, my bad. This thing really took a hard time standing. So remove this part. Snap that in. Bring back the arms. And you can choose to pull or unpull the elbow joint. Just bring that up. Then push back the elbow joint. And you can snap in. And finally, we have the battle jet. Just plug it right in. And now you can choose to use whatever hands it come with. So I'm gonna go with the dynamic spread hand. And we are done with the transformation. So like this transformation is the same as Volt S5, nothing too special about this guy. And I gotta say the same thing about the level of details, but more on that later. What I find about this guy is that he's an attempt to make money from the hardcore old fans because upon up new fans, this figure doesn't show a lot of potential. Uh, does it worth collecting? I'm gonna mention later, but from the transformation you see this is a fairly simple transformation. And um, now let's get to the details which I think just will be the minimum of details over this guy over here. So this is the detail. Let's have a look at the face. In my opinion this face doesn't seem too much but the only problem for me is that the white the mouth plate is yellow because it catches the light and then it hurts to see the whole face. So it's kind of weird for me and then we have the V on the forehead and this is a strangely looking head because this is the non-transforming jet just plug in so it is somewhat a mix between a jet and a robot head so one thing that I have to give compliment to is that the face got separately painted in every piece and then put together so this is quite nice I enjoy that detail so here we have that and the only thing I can compliment about this guy will be the bright silver paint I enjoy that that price to pin a lot and one more thing will be the connecting so as for such a size of this figure when I put together the connecting part the connecting points is really simple but what is really unexpected is that it is really solid this is such a solid piece that I really enjoy you can ha easily handling this guy around without the worry of things falling out apart and I think that's some some a lot of more details you got some paint and measure this is the old robot color scheme and the design is nothing too spectacular so I guess it's time to jump in for the articulation so articulation while we begin with the head you can look up and down not really down this is straightforward and you can do a full rotation the nice thing about this thing is that all the major connecting moving point is on separate machines so it can handle it to the shoulders you can move up and down like that and this is on a double joint so it's really impressive you got a 360 spin you got a bicep swivel and this is a point you got a double jointed elbow so if you bend one point it will be like this but if you pull it out 
and you get a double, you get a double shot, a full, a full 90 degrees, a full 180 bends, which is really impressive to me. And the hands are solid, so you got only got a rotation out of them. It's a ball joint though, and you got no waist swivel due to the transformation. This is a split. It's kind of limited. The kick to the front and the kick to the back is also limited. You got a 90 degrees knee bend. And you can you got a thigh swivel, and then the leg you got a really good pivot, extremely good pivot, and this is the moving to the front, which is really nice. So articulation wise, this thing is really impressive for its scale and the transforming mechanism. And you can expect the I expected this from the Voltas Five review, and I would keep expecting this in the number three board, which will come in the next video because they use the same mechanism. For some size comparison, here we have Calm Butler V with Earthrise Optimus. Because as you can see, he's one head shorter than Optimus. And here's the size comparison between the Calm Butler V with the real grade 12144 scale RX78 2 Gundam and the Master Grade 12100 scale. So as you can see, he's somewhere in between of them. So the accessories came with the other alternate hands. This is for fists. You got two fists. And you got two holding hands. Oh my bad. You got two holding hands. And to remove them is very simple. You just pull it out like that. And just snap it back in. And the fists are just dull. They don't have any other colors on them. And the other accessories you got will be the two sword, which are really nice. I enjoy the silver and the yellow and the blue handle is really nice. To attach this it is quite funny. You have to pull out the handle and actually put it from below the hands and then plug it back in. This is really hard to push up because it's got all the details. And it, it looks great. And as for the second accessories, this is the longer the connecting handle, so he can, he can hold it. Uh, so he can hold it, double edge, double blade. So my bad. So it's just the same. You just plug it and out like that. And I will show you some pictures of him holding it in the photo section. So would you care to buy this figure? I mean. If you are somehow interested in old type robot, the old design, and you might pick this guy up, or uh, else this is a really good attempt for the this for this brand, the mini action brand, to do the old bots. Because like I have known, some people want to buy a their childhood robot, and some younger collectors are hoping for getting some old bots, but then the price are getting really high especially the super robot choking line so i mean this is could be a really nice substitute for the need of a classic og bot and so that this wraps up my video about the miniature number one combat v so tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below and if you're new feel free to subscribe and follow me on instagram that is where i do most of my updates and if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link is in the description below Tantan out.